Hey guys, what's up? It's Elise from thecrunchyginger.com and every week I share a tip, a trick, or a DIY to help you live a little greener and save a little money. If that sounds good to you, I would love it if you would subscribe so that we can stay in touch. This week I have for you a little DIY recipe for a itch stick, an itchy balm. This is for bug bites or just mild itching or skin irritation. It's also pretty good for little boo-boos and stuff like that. And it is also gonna be safe for children. It's really easy to make up. And I'm making mine in these chapstick tubes, um, which I just bought on Amazon. I'll put the link below if you wanna check, if you wanna check that out. Because they're easy and they're portable this way, so they're great for the summertime, just stick them in your bag or your backpack and you've always got one whenever you need it. Let's get started with this. It's gonna make up pretty quickly. For this, you're going to need a couple of ingredients. I've got some beeswax, I'm using a little bit of jojoba oil, and I'm also using a chamomile infused coconut oil. So this is just regular coconut oil that I infused in my crock pot with dried chamomile flower heads. And uh, I have another video all about that. I will put a link up here for it, but you can also check it out. I'll put it in the description below so you can watch this tutorial and circle back around and check that out. Um, it's really easy to do and it's like my new obsession. This chamomile coconut oil is amazing. If you don't have chamomile infused coconut oil, you can use just regular coconut oil or you can always substitute by adding a couple of drops of chamomile essential oil to your, to your mixture. So you're also going to use tea tree and lavender essential oils. These are going to be, in addition to the chamomile oil, are sort of active ingredients in this recipe. They are great for, for itchiness, they are pain relievers, they're anti-inflammatory, they're good for soothing and healing, so all of the kind of stuff that you want immediately when you've got a super itchy bug bite or even if you've got a little bit of you know irritation from a plant or something like that will, will also be useful. The, the other thing you're gonna need for this is a either a double boiler or like a heat proof bowl. This is just a little metal bowl that I use for all of my DIY stuff and a saucepan with some simmering water. So I've already got this on hot here on the stove. I'm going to just set my little bowl right on top like that. It's going to create a double boiler. Some kind of spatula. This is my designated DIY spatula. We're going to melt all this stuff together. So we're going to start out with my beeswax. It's about eight grams of beeswax, which is about two teaspoons. I'm going to put that in there first because it's going to take the longest to melt. Get that started. Now that this is melted down, I'm going to add in my chamomile infused coconut oil. I've got about a tablespoon of this or about 18 grams if you like to measure things with the weight like I do. Not necessary, it's just, I think it's a little bit easier than trying to get the stuff out of the little spoons. And I'm gonna use one teaspoon or about three grams of jojoba oil. You can use whatever carrier oil you want for this. I just really love jojoba oil, but sweet almond oil would be good, sunflower oil, even olive oil fractionated coconut oil if you want it to be super coconutty. Whichever one you like will work fine. It's just a little extra moisturizer in there. And we're going to melt this all completely together. So my mixture is totally melted together. This next part's gonna go really fast, so we wanna be prepared. I'm gonna use these chapstick tubes, like I said, um, and make sure that you've washed them and dried them thoroughly, and also screw down the, the bottom part all of the way that will help prevent any uh, any leaks. And I'm going to secure mine together. This recipe is going to make about four tubes worth. I'm gonna secure mine together with a rubber band and that's gonna hold them in place. I also like to set them on, I'm just using like a little canning lid, but I like to set them on a little surface so that um, they're easy to move if you need to and also it's kind of easy for cleanup if you spill a little bit. I've got that ready. Now I'm going to take this off the heat, but because this is going to, sometimes this cools off really fast, I'm going to kind of leave my heat on just in case I, I need to melt this back down again. I have a dish towel ready. Wipe off any water that's on the bottom of this from your water, from your simmering water. That will prevent any water drips from getting into your recipe. You really want to avoid any kind of water in these recipes because that is going to, ouch. This is hot. <laughs> that is going to um, limit your shelf life for sure. So I've got that all dried off. And now that it's off the heat, 
I'm gonna add my essential oils and I'm also gonna add just a tiny bit of vitamin E oil. I usually like to add just a little bit because it's an antioxidant and it kind of helps in um, kind of helps in the shelf life of these DIY recipes. Now I'm going to use lavender and tea tree oil, like I said. Because I've made I'm making this for kids, I'm gonna keep the dilution to about 2%, which is considered to be safe for acute use, not for all, all over body use, but for spot treatment for, for what we're doing here, like for bug bites. I'm gonna use six drops of lavender and six drops of tea tree. Okay, now we are ready to pour it in our tubes. Wish me luck. Just kidding, I'm a total pro. Success! So mine actually made a little bit more than four tubes. Um, I had an extra one handy, thankfully. So let's say this makes about four to five tubes, depending on the, the volume of your, of your chapstick tubes. Now you're just gonna leave this on the counter to sort of harden up and cool off. Or you can, once it's once they're cool enough to sort of relocate like this, you can move them to your fridge to help them harden up really fast if you're impatient like me. I hope that you found this useful and I hope that this keeps you itch-free all summer long. If you have any questions about this, as always, please feel free to drop me a comment below and I'll do my best to help you troubleshoot. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to know more about this. Head on over to the blog, thecrunchyginger.com. Follow me on Instagram, I'm at thecrunchyginger. You can catch me on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. Happy summer, finally!